Welcome Sagittarius. Uh, great to have you here. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing. I hope you enjoy the insights um, in this general reading. Please take what works for you. I have already shuffled the cards and laid them out. Um, I uh, work with the 12 houses of the uh, zodiac. So as the cards are appearing in each um, area, then those are the influences that are coming to bear at this time. So in the um, first house, we have North Node, which is life purpose. So the first house is everything to do with um, the self, your you know, personality, your appearance, um, and your self-oriented interests, your physical body, uh, your characteristics, uh, and how you are perceived by others, how you project yourself in the world, um, how you make your way through your, you know, daily routines and, um, just how you, how you, how you present yourself to others. So now with the, um, with this card in this house, basically what it's saying is that you are your own brand. So, uh, this is a destiny card. Um, it may be that you are in the spotlight at the moment. Um, but with, with these kinds of influences going on for you, um, it brings a great deal of, um, uh, sort of attraction to you. So, or, or you could be attracting a lot of, um, popularity, um, and, um, rewards for effort. Uh, so basically you are your own ambassador. So everything that you want to draw to you in your life, um, you've got to project, um, you've got to project all the very best parts of yourself. So it's really, um, focus your attention on being the best, uh, that you can possibly be. So, um, so this is in, in all aspects of yourself. So how you look, how you project yourself, how you socialize, your vitality, your vivaciousness. Um, you've got to look the part. Um, you've got to learn skills to enhance your best features. Um, and all of these, all of these aspects that come in, um, you know, this card indicates doorways opening, um, that you'll be well received. Um, you may also be attracting uh, members from your soul family. So this is people from um, other, you know, lifetimes that you've had um, and you're drawing them to you um, and they will show you um, support and, um, you know, you'll, you'll just feel an instant connection with them. Um, but really, this is about showing your talents and abilities as well. Um, so now with the, this coming in for you in your first house, it's going to affect your seventh house, which is how you interact on a personal one-on-one -on -one basis with your, in your relationships. And it's also going to affect a great many other areas of your chart. Everything that you are putting yourself into is going to be affected by this card. So if you, if you're somebody who's in the public eye and you're really, um, uh, you know, wanting to draw attention to yourself or you are suddenly drawing attention to yourself, then this is, this is really, um, bringing it to you now. And, um, you need to harness everything about yourself, all your best features, whether you speak well or you just interact well with others or you just look good or you have um, a kind of a sort of a, a personality which people are drawn to. There's lots of different ways that this can be manifesting for you in particular, but it's really about being your own brand ambassador. You you are your own brand, so make sure you, that you're working that as much as possible. Then uh, in the second house, we have Cancer, I Feel. So this is, um, this is to do with uh, the second house is everything to do with your income, your money coming in. Um, and um, your values, your self-worth, um, and what you own, your property, your possessions, um, and, um, you know, it's, it, it's your it's your values about uh, everything in your life. So this kind of um, indicates that um, you need to feel your way along. You need to be um, um, acting on your own wisdom, your intuition and instinct, uh, you need to, uh, you, you probably will be feeling uh, very sensitive at the moment. Um, and, um, this, it's fine. It's great to be sensitive and to have sensitivity, but you need to also be resilient as well. So, um, you know, you, you, you may just, you know, avoid being, um, overly sensitive where you feel hurt by what goes on or what might, might be happening in any one of those areas for your life, in your life. So it's also about building resilience. Um, you may be feeling quite protective of your possessions and also of your values and your self-worth. You want to, you want to be, um, protective of yourself. 
So um, there's a, there's a feminine influence in, involved here. You may also be finding that your money and your income is going through different phases. Uh, and you've just got to, as I said, build resilience during those periods and also just feel your way along through the ups and downs. Um, you may also be um, experiencing situations from the past or you may be going over past memories. Um, you may be dealing with possessions from your family from the past. It could be like antiques or just items of uh, sentimental interest. Um, those could all be coming in for you into this into this house. Um, just to note that the stock mark market is ruled by the moon. So if you are interested in anything remotely like that, then um, study those um, cycles and see if it works for you. But uh, really, this is about harnessing your own wisdom and intuition and instinct about what you want to do with your money, what you want to buy, what you want to own, what you want to possess, and the protection of the uh, of those items as well. And also just of your own self-worth, because from what I'm seeing elsewhere in the chart, um, there's a fair bit of um, uh, action going on, change coming. So you may just need to um, need to be just um, pulling back a little bit, going through a little bit of withdrawal every so often, just to reorient it, re reorientate yourself and just get to grips with your money coming and your values and your self-worth. Then um, in the third house, we have... Um, Yod, which is destiny, yet another destiny card. You actually have quite a bit of that going on in your chart at the moment. So, um, this, the third house is everything to do with communication. So this is your, um, written, verbal, uh, it's also your body language. Um, and this is interaction with others and it can also be on a wider public scale. So a bigger scale than just, um, family members like your siblings and your aunts and uncles and cousins. Um, so it, it's on a wider scale, but it can also be to them. And it's also, it could be affecting your work, uh, what you do for a living, how you interact with others on a, on a, on a general scale. Um, the third house also covers documents and, um, contracts. So now um, there's an element of fate uh, with this card. So you may just be feeling um, that certain situations are fated um, and um, um, you may be having certain issues with uh, some of your family members, those sort of siblings, aunts, uncles and cousins, that sort of um, situation where you just feel a bit different from them. You may just be a little bit out of step with what all the rest are doing. So not necessarily a black sheep, but you may feel like that sometimes or you may just feel different from them. Um, there's a little bit of tension and uh, there's a disruptive influence at play here. There's a bit of stress. Um, so you, it just be, it may be just the way you are communi communicating with others, even on a, a more public scale. Um, you may just need to, um, to uh, address that, um, uh, as well. Um, think of uh, more refined ways to deal with things. Um, you may have to go it alone, uh, on certain issues. Um, you've got to find your own truth and how you express that as well. So, um, so it's expression and action, but it's finding your own truth. Um, you may need to sacrifice a few, a few things to achieve your goals, but always this is, this is going to be about finding your uniqueness and, uh, and, and an inventive way to be expressive, how you're going to, um, write what your words are, what you're going to say. Um, and, um, you know, putting yourself out there, but, um, you may just feel, um, pressured at this time, or, or there's a lot of tension around you at this moment. Um, and, um, just be aware with, um, contracts and documents and things like that. Um, as I said, you may just be feeling, um, that you've got to go it alone and that you've actually got to steer your own path, um, as well. Then in the, um, fourth house, this is the house of home. Everything to do with your home, your home life, um, and uh, it's also about your ethnic identity and your roots, your foundation. So um, again, there's um, there's a fair, a fair bit of uh, uh, introspe introspection and also um, finding um, ways to reinvent your home life, who you are in your home. Um, it, anything with a re in front of it um, during um, Mercury retrograde, anything with a re in front of it. So you may need to um, have some sort of revision about what it is you want to do in your home, or you may need to renovate or redo something. Um, there's lots of different ways this can manifest, but it ultimately means um, that 
um, you, you know, you've got to, you've got to change something or you need to go inward during this period, which, and it covers, um, a week to three weeks. So it, you know, you need to, it's, it's a sort of time of deep reflection to actually, um, relook at things, um, and see how you can perhaps change something to better suit you. Um, you may also be forced to do that as well, because, um, with this, um, influence going on, um, new ventures and plans, new plans that you want to put into place, you may just have to put them on hold because, um, things can go wrong during this period. Um, there can be miscommunication, misunderstandings, um, and uh, things go missing, documents go missing, um, and um, emails go missing, or they just don't um, get delivered on time. There's lots of ways this can come about, but basically it means just put things on hold, um, go over everything again. Um, you may have missed a mistake, or you may have missed something which actually needs to be um, reorganized or um, redone. Um, you can, you know, should, should technically avoid signing things, uh, to do with your home at this time until this period passes. Um, as I said, one to three weeks. So just see how you feel. Um, you'll know, you'll know, um, if, if, if communication is still not working for you because, um, you'll notice it in your daily life. Um, electronics, elect, electric things, gadgets just may not function at this time, or you may go and purchase um, some kind of gadget or electronic item um, or technical item and it um, just turns out not to work or it's not um, not actually what you want or doesn't it just becomes like um, a white elephant and you have to take it back so just be aware of that um, or it has to be changed um, you may also um, with this kind of influence going on just back up all your computers all your all your electronic items that carry information on your behalf, your cell phone, just um, back everything up and make sure that you have a, a, a copy of all of those items. So it is about reinvention and it can be a very positive thing. It can be a life-saving thing because you redo something which um, is necessary and it needs to, you've perhaps missed something and now you have to do it again. Or it could just be a reorganization of your home uh, and um, some kind of reinvention or some kind of um, revision. Is going on. Then in your um, fifth house, we've got Grand Cross, which is the provoker. So um, this is the, the fifth house is everything to do with um, um, children having fun. So this can be your children or it can be children that are, you are close to. So it's also about having fun, all forms of recreation. It's also about your creativity, your creative side. Um, it's also rules love affairs. So now with this is a very strong influence and it's quite a tense, um, quite a tense aspect as well. It could be very difficult. So, um, from this tenseness and difficult situation, um, a, a catalyst for movement and change will be created. So during this period of resistance and, um, like overwhelm, lots of things going on, lots of things coming at you at once. Um, through this period of overwhelm, you have to just, Hold steady uh, and keep going uh, because it will get better and there will be benefits later. But during the thick of it, it may just be feel very um, overwhelming and a bit difficult. So this could be to do with your children or um, children that you have, um, you know, you're in contact with. They could be going through quite a difficult period at this time, and you are there to uh, to witness this and, and see them through it. Or you could just be having some difficulties um, in your relationship with them. Um, it could also be, um, it could also be, as I said, something to do with a love affair. Um, this could be, um, there could be some. Obviously, compromises is going to be paramount in all of these relationships. So um, you need to, you need to, um, you, you know, you may need to just um, compromise and also come to find solutions to move forward. Um, you need to stick, you need to stick with the relationships and stick with the issues until completion because they, it will get better. So you've got to stick through all the hard times as well. Um, there's intensity here. Um, but ultimately there's renewal and victory out of this. Um, it could also be that you are, if you're a creative person, you're dealing with, um, creative aspects within yourself and what the work that you do or how you come across to others. You may just be going through, um, really quite an intense period at the moment where you are, you know, really having to pull out all the stops. You're just having to dig deep. Mm -hmm. Um, um, you could also be uh, facing competition. 
Um, and you may just feel that you are at cross purposes with things. You've perhaps you've got a lot of talents and abilities, and it's just a case of juggling them all, and you don't feel like you're actually getting anywhere. Um, so it's it's kind of a it's a it's a juggling act, and it's kind of balancing all these hard angle energies which are sort of focused on you uh, with great pressure. Um, this card is about finding discipline. It's about um, getting focused and also realistic. Um, so pare down all the things that you're juggling and try and focus on one or two or the most, the, the ones that have high priority for you so that you can, can break out of that and actually, um, get to the, to the, to the better times. Right, Sagittarius. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and, um, have a great month and I will see you next time. Take care.